<laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey everyone, my name is Tyler Oakley and this week is a very special week. Obviously, it was my birthday. Thank you in advance for all of the sweet messages that you're gonna leave me in the comments. I cannot believe how nice y'all are and how sweet you were for giving me the birthday gift of giving this video a thumbs up. Thank you. But not only is this week the anniversary of my womb withdrawal, but also an anniversary of another special moment in my life. So if you read my book, you know that St. Patrick's Day is not just St. Patrick's Day. It's not just a day for straight people to get drunk and be hooligans in the street. It is also a day that we celebrate and remember what really happened. On St. Patrick's Day, of course, we honor those we lost, like the patron saint of Ireland, but also my virginity. So since March 17th, 2008, it has been a full decade of adult slumber parties and debauchery. But let me take you back to how it all began. Now going into March 17th, I had all of these expectations of what losing your virginity might mean and how big of a deal it might have been. And I can only speak from my own personal experience and I can only talk about, you know, what it meant to me and what it still means to me and blah, 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 blah. So if this doesn't match with your experience, that's okay too. You can talk about it in the comments section and I'm sure I'm gonna read it. But long story short, I lost my virginity on St. Patrick's Day back in college. It was my freshman year. It was with somebody who turned out to be eventually my boyfriend. It was somebody that I knew and I trusted and it was a night out. And if you want the full story, I'm not gonna get into specifics, but if you want the full story, you can read it in my book. But I kind of wanted to talk about like the concept of virginity in general, because I feel like we can have that conversation. It doesn't have to be taboo. With all that said, my experience was I grew up with like this thought of sex ed and sex as like this obscure thing that we didn't talk about because my sex ed program didn't even touch gay shit. So like, how was I to even know what I was supposed to be doing going into the whole situation? And then with all that in mind, it was like, okay, yeah, I had some like religious background. So I was supposed to save myself a little, but girl, I was already like breaking 10 commandments anyway. And then like, there's this whole perception of talking about sex with my friends and both, we didn't really know what it was or what it could be or why we would be doing it or who we'd be doing it with. So there's like a lot of confusion surrounding it, for me at least. So going into the night when it happened, I feel like I'm like giving y'all the juice, but going into the night that it happened, I had no expectation that it was gonna happen. I feel like you build it up and you like have this mentality of what it's gonna be, but for me, it was not that at all. So I went into the, the evening just trying to like live my damn life. And then as the evening was progressing, I was like, oh, am I about to go home with a boy? And then I'm like, oh, are we about to hook up? And then as we were hooking up, I'm like, oh, am I about to do this? So like, even if you have it all planned out of what you think it's gonna be, the majority of the time, I would assume, maybe if, if people are like me, it does not go down how you think. So I think going into everything with like a bit of an open mind and less expectations, sex expectations than I think people think that you should have is a good thing. And in my experience, the first time was not all I wanted it to be cracked up to be. No offense to the guy that it happened with because like, girl, we're still friends, but we were each other's first time and we didn't know what the fuck we were doing. And that's okay. It was like actually nice to have somebody that I trusted because I was able to like figuring it out together. If I had to describe my first time, I would say that it was, well, first of all, it was like drunk and sloppy and not at all what I expected. And the next morning, just kind of like a, oh my God, girl type of thing. If I had to rate it compared to all other times that I've enjoyed the intimacy of a man, I wouldn't put it up there. But I would put it up there in the fact that, you know what, it is something that's funny. <laughs> I have had some better times in the boudoir. There's a lot of things where the first time wasn't the best time, practice makes perfect, and for me, I feel like it was only uphill after that first time. Because like, you figure it out as you go, and there's no set of rules that dictate how it should be, or what it should be, or how it should go down, or anything like that, and I feel like each person's personal experience with sex is personal. I also just kind of feel like the concept of losing your virginity as if it's like something that once you have sex, something is taken away from you, or like you're 
you're missing a part of you or for a lot of people there's like shame surrounding that and so like you are less pure in some way or anything like that it boggles my mind because i'm like through life experiences i only become a richer person and i, I become a more complete version of myself based on like growth and figuring me out and like being more comfortable with who I am and how I approach life and all those things. So like the more life experiences I have, the more I add to who I am. So the concept of losing your virginity is like, that's not my experience. And I just feel like it is so personal because I know people that don't even kiss who they're going to marry until after they get married. And that to them is what pure is. And then I know people that uh, go hog wild and go willy-nilly with people that they never even met and that's fine too But it's like I said, it's just personal I just feel like the most important thing when it comes to sex whether it's your first time or Your first time today is making sure that it's filled with trust and Respect for yourself and for whoever it's with if I could give you a piece of advice for your first time If you're like stressing out about it if all your friends talk about it But you're feeling like I can't even tell people that I'm still a virgin or blah 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 It ain't that big of a deal. It's just not it's okay to be a virgin. It's okay to not be a virgin That is your own personal decision to make people should not project their sense of morality onto whether or not you have done anything that is your personal choice. Just make sure that you're taking care of yourself. That's like all I could ask for of y'all if you're worried about it. Take care of yourself. That's like a pretty good standard for going into anything. Looking back 10 years ago, I knew nothing. I still know very little, but I just feel like if you're stressed out now about the concept of your virginity and losing it and what it'll be like and everything like that, me, 10 years ago, I was in the same boat. You are not alone. It is a universal theme I think a lot of us face. And now 10 years later, I can look back and laugh. And I would hope for you that you can someday just do the same and look back at your first time and be like, girl, what was I even up to? Because that's where I'm at. Now on the topic of blasts from the past, you blasts from the past? Ejaculation is the joke there. Anyway, on the topic of blasts from the past, I am going on a little journey very soon with y'all. I'm so excited for next week's video because I'm gonna introduce that journey. That's all I'm gonna say right now. So get ready for that. If you wanna subscribe, you will be the first to know when I announce what I'm announcing next week. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And maybe if you have a piece of advice for people that are stressing about their own sex, lives, virginity, anything like that, you can put it in the comments below. Or if you have a question, Maybe that's good. That, maybe the comment section can be a little safe space for people that are like, here's my story, what do I do? And maybe people can try to help each other. I am not qualified to help you. Nobody in the comment section is qualified to help you. Take it for what it is, grain of salt, blah, 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 blah. But maybe try to help each other. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you have a good life. Again, if you wanna read the whole story of that night, it's in my book. So I'm gonna put the link in the description. Okay, I'll see you guys next week. Love ya. Mwah.